Hey guys, so today we're going to go over the Intune Remote Help and how to configure it and uh, deploy it. Basically, we go to our Endpoint Manager and then uh, we go to the Tenant Administration, Remote Help. Of course, you have to have the right uh, licensing settings and then configure and I'm going to enable it. It tells you, do you want to allow remote help to unenroll devices or not? It's up to you. I'm just going to allow it. Why not? Do you want to disable chat? I'm going to say, no, I do not want to disable chat. And it's sim as simple as that. Now it's enabled. And now what we need to do is go just install the client on the uh, Windows 10 machine or Windows 11. I'm going to show you how to do this. So what we need is to install the client. And I'm going to basically... Uh, Go to the website. I'm going to leave this link in the description below so you can go as well. And I'm just going to down, download the client. And as you can see, it's installed. It's uh, downloaded, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and just double click it and install it. Now, this would have to be installed on both the endpoints and the uh, admin uh, machine that wants to uh, uh, remote into the other machines. So the installation is successful, as you can see. And once you log in, it'll ask you basically for your credentials if you're not logged in. All right, so it's asking me to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign in and enter my credentials. And now it's really pretty straightforward. So if someone wants to help me, basically they can open this app on their machine. Uh, and and then basically give help if I want to help someone I'd say get a security code and this is the security code I'll give this to the user and then the user would put in this and the remote session would start thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this